Hello everyone, this is Rock, and this is going to be my tutorial today on the Coke oven. I want to show you how to turn uh, coal into coal coke. Um, there's the big difference is coal produces 4,000 EU per item. Uh, coal coke produces 16,000, so you're getting a four times four yield. This is pretty great. Um, it's a reasonably cheap machine, uh, meaning that none of the materials are too extreme to get. You know, it's just sand and clay. So, let me show you how to build one of them. Oh, my bad. Alright, here we go. <clears throat> so, the only thing today we need are these coke oven bricks. They're pretty simple to make. You need 26 of them total, and you get one per pattern here. So, that's five pieces of sand and uh, four bricks. Bricks, you take clay and you smelt them in a furnace, in case you don't know. And uh, on a side note, I'm going to be starting another series. Um, Hopefully, um, this should come out after I get back on, from vacation. So probably the same week that I'm doing this. And I'm going to do vanilla Minecraft uh, tutorials. I know probably most of the people that are watching these kind of videos aren't going to need that. But I kind of am, am kind of enjoying doing the whole teaching thing. So I think I'm going to do that too. I think it'll be good. I mean, maybe you'll learn something that you didn't know. But anyway, this is the simple setup. Sand in all the corners and the middle and then the diamond pattern of clay. So we'll make 26 of those. Make those real quick. Alright, there you go. That's the pattern. You get one brick per, so you're going to need 26. Sorry, it's early in the morning. I'm doing this before I have to go to work, so I'm still drinking my coffee. It's like 5.45 in the morning right now, so Let's head upstairs. We'll put this in, and I'll show you what it does. I'll grab a uh, box of coke, uh, coal, and uh, pop it in the oven. Um, this is gonna be relatively quick, so I might squeeze in something else. Uh, there's no point in only doing this. I might be able to get one more thing in, but um, let me find some coal. I got 44 on me, so I guess we'll just use that. Um, I'm gonna put it up here on one of these levels. Probably not one of these big levels. It's not needed. Yeah, right here works. Put it right in this corner. Yeah, right there. All right. So, so when you put it down, you have to put it down in the spe specific pattern. So on the bottom, you need three by three square. And then on the next level, you need um, another three by three but you leave the center, see the center hole? You leave that blank. And then you fill out the top the same way you did the bottom, so nine bricks on top. And then we'll put the last brick, and I wanna be able to catch it change. See it change, it turns into this. If you didn't see it, we'll do it one more time. Put it in, and then you get these little squares. You get them on all the sides. So um, this thing you can put in and pull out from all sides. Sorry, that sounds a little weird. But uh, you can add coke, I mean coal. You can have the coal pulled out. And um, there's this waste product right here called uh, creosote, creosote, something like that. Um, the, uh, well, let me just put this in. So you put the coal in and it starts fir firing away. It takes two and a half minutes per piece of coal to turn it into coal coke. which is a long time so you're gonna be waiting for a while this stack right here 44 it's gonna take you know a good amount of time two and a half minutes each so two pieces two pieces for every five minutes for yeah you're looking at a long time all right well that's the simple coal coke oven all right it's been a couple minutes I think it's been like two three minutes so one one piece for sure should be done maybe two I'm not even sure uh, I'll just show you what that look like looks like, and uh, I want to show you one other thing up here. And then when I'm done here, I think I'm going to pop right into another tutorial. All right, one piece is done. So this is going to keep smelting. As you can see, it's almost done with the next one. You get this right here. I ran to my base to grab a few, so now I have a lot. Um, as you can see, this starts to fill up. To get this out, you put a bucket here, and it pulls out the creosote oil. Uh, that's the easy way for now. I'm going to show you better way in a couple tutorials from now. I don't want to show it right now because it's kind of complicated. 
but for now that's that's the best way or when it's done smelting all of them break the oven completely down and rebuild it and you'll get rid of all that weight that byproduct but uh yeah that's it for the coal coke oven it's a pretty simple machine coal in coke coal coke out i wish i had a generator and i could show you how much energy you get out of it but you know it's uh, 16,000 right there per item so we have a good amount of power right here in our hands um now this this didn't take long I, it's probably gonna be like four or five minutes so i'm gonna pop over to the nether and we're gonna go over another machine i think i, I think so i will see you shortly all right everyone this is part two of the video uh sorry a little lag right there uh we are in the nether as you can see we got some pigmen running around uh i hate the nether hate being here so i kind of dug a hole right here and put some grass and some trees down make it look like i'm not in the nether makes me feel a little better about it but anyway we're gonna build um, a blast furnace i'll probably put it right right about there and uh, i have a bunch of the bricks already uh, somewhere, maybe in here. Yep, right here. So we're just gonna make one set, and I'll show you real quick. I built my little, my little hole where I usually put my stuff that I'm gonna build. And let me show you how to build one real quick. They're pretty simple. Um, it takes so you need to to make one. You need to be able to to go to the nether. Um, so make sure you can build a portal and everything. My portal's up there. This is my nether. Look at all that. EU they could be made using a gener uh, thermal generator right now. Uh, look at it all. Anyway, I wonder, I don't know if there is, maybe I could figure that out if there's a way to get power from the nether through a portal. That'd be kind of cool. Anyway, so we'll come back in here and uh, we'll build away. So it takes some simple materials. You're going to need to find another fortress because you need another brick. So we'll take those. You're going to need soul sand, which is abundant in the nether. It's, it's out there, I promise. And a magma cream. A magma cream drops from those slimy looking things that run around in the nether. But you can also get them from a slime ball and a blaze powder. So if you can find a blaze or even, uh, you can even make these in, uh, yeah, ender eye dust, you can get blaze powder. So you don't even need to get these from the nether you can get them right there so you you don't have to look at that pulverize you put one in you get you get four it's kind of cool all right so you get those you get the cream you get the the bricks and the sand come over here and you put them in uh your crafting table like this cream in the middle you get blast furnace blast furnace bricks and so in the first part of this video I showed you the cold coke oven it's been like three days since I recorded that uh, to you it's gonna be a second but anyway so in that one you it was a three by three cube this one's kind of similar but it's a three by three by four tall so we'll build it right here we'll do put these down like this as a base and how the other one had that one empty in the middle, this one's gonna have two empty in the middle instead. Uh, where am I hitting my hat on? Oh. Put that like that, so like this, and then you do another layer, same thing. And then you put on a, a top like this. All right, and when I put this final brick, you get the little hole in the bottom, so it's, you get them on all sides, just like the same. Same thing with the uh, cold coke oven. It's just one layer higher. Make sure you have two holes in the middle. When you click on it, you get this interface. It's a blast furnace. Uh, the use so far that I know of is you put iron in, and it smelts it into steel. It takes forever, um, and that's the reason why you get cold coke. So then you put the cold coke on here, and it, it hits it with the blast real slow it's gonna take forever um you as far as i remember you can't put coal into one of these uh it's either charcoal which is wood uh in a smelted in a furnace or coal coke and coal coke lasts a lot longer than charcoal obviously so as you can see it it, it goes our, at all right speed i think it's about a minute a piece and i'll show you what you get when that's done and i'll show you what you do with it uh one thing with this mach this machine right here 
is if I took my my drill or my pick or whatever I'm using and took one of these blocks out see how there's lava right here those two holes that you have in center are do have lava in them right now uh, so if I took the split brick out there's two uh, blocks of lava in there just so you know um, uh, that's it's a pretty simple machine you know you set it up you put it in you kind of forget about it for the day go do a project build a quarry build a hole build a house whatever you want to do and then you come back and uh, you should have a, a stack done so we're just about done and yeah we get one this is a steel ingot steel ingots have a lot of uses uh, let me show you a few of them uh, you can make steel shovels steel swords uh, the steel pickaxe, steel axe, so you can build all your regular tools out of steel, and they'll last longer. A steel hull, you can build blocks of steel. Uh, and then these are some of the uh, machines that you'd use, like a diamond bore. These go to other machines and stuff. There's a couple of them. Um, an item loader, an item unloader, turbine blades, steel gears. <laughs> so just like the other gears we built, see how there's a stone gear in the middle? Um, the rolling machine. This is, uh, I think this goes towards Railcraft, as far as I remember. I, I haven't messed with it yet, I, I'm going to. Uh, metal posts you can make, you can make steel plates. Uh, I don't know what those are used for. Uh, and remember how we made the mixed metal ingots to make the advanced alloy? You can use it, so steel, bronze, and tin. Or uh, steel, bronze, and aluminum to make uh, mixed metal ingots. Uh, shape crafting, this is how you can use it to make pistons. It falls in place with a lot of iron recipes. Uh, a rock cutter. Uh, your mining drill, your chainsaw, uh, an electric hoe, and so that's all the recipes you need steel for. So as you can see, there's a good amount. Uh, we have two pieces. Uh, next, I'm I'm doing this. I'm gonna just melt this whole thing down. Uh, I can't get out of the store right now. I'm smelting these all hold down because the next video I want to get into advanced machines. Uh, I mean advanced tools. Uh, I'm gonna teach you how to build the, the drill, the chainsaw, uh, the rock cutter, and the mining laser next episode, and show you what they do and how they work. Uh, so that's what this is here for, and that's why I'm smelting it all down right now. Uh, so that should be cool. Um, yeah, I, that's about it for that. It's it's a pretty simple uh, machine. Uh, we'll just do a quick recap here. You put the cold coke in. You put the iron ingots on top. You get steel ingots when they're done. And uh, you just let it sit. Uh, I built it in the nether just because just you do not need to put it in the nether. It, it does not need to be built here. You can you need everything here to build it, but you can build it. Oh, it was hit me. You can build it in the uh, the overworld. There's there's no difference. I just I don't go to the Nether much, so I guess that kind of gave me a reason to go to the Nether. Um, like I said, the cold coke ovens. You put the coal in, you get cold coke out. The cold coke goes into the blast furnace, and, and there you go. That's how you get steel. Uh, I don't know what else you could put in a blast furnace. I'm, I'm sure there's other things. Uh, I haven't really looked into it too much. I probably should have. But the only reason I've ever needed it is for uh, steel. So, yeah. That's it. Um, this video is going to come out uh, sometime like February 10th. Because I have been gone on vacation. I'm actually recording this before. So as soon as I get home, I can pop this up. But my last video was right before I went on vacation. And this is going to be when I get back. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Next video, we're going to get into advanced tools. Um, and then I want to do something fun. I don't, I don't know. All I've been teaching you is how to survive. I want to teach you how to have a little fun, too, while we're in here. Um, and that video is going to be more of like a let's play because it's not. I'm not really teaching you much. It's just to show you some stuff. All right. Um, I hope you guys have a good week. And I hope you enjoyed this video. You guys take care.